Well, we've been telling you about the infestation of grasshoppers across the state this summer. Well, it turns out with those also comes another painful pest. Denver 7's Danielle Kreuter explains. When you're outside this summer, it's hard not to notice all of the grasshoppers. If you have them, you can't not know. Sweep your hand across some flowers, bushes, shrubs. You get a burst of grasshoppers right in your face going every which way. And if that wasn't bad enough, there's another creepy crawler to look out for. You have an infestation of grasshoppers, it's likely you'll get an infestation of the blister beetle. Blister beetle larvae tend to feed on grasshopper eggs, which can be a, a benefit to gra for grasshopper control. Um, but blister beetles also come with their own sets of nuances. There's about 35 species of blister beetles in Colorado. They have a substance called cantharidin, which is irritant um, and can highly irritate your skin if you touch them. Uh, so be mindful of that if you come across blister beetles on your own plants or, or on, on crops uh, because they can not only irritate your skin, but in high concentration can even cause blisters. Again, in high concentrations, it can even cause livestock to get sick. Fortunately, I don't have data to support that. We're, we're seeing high no higher numbers of blister beetles. For us in the city, everything's kind of tidy. You don't have really tall grasses and things like that that attract them. Um, so hopefully, knock on wood, we won't. But if you start to notice them in your garden, here's how to get rid of them. So Seven is a spray that uh, most people will use for any kind of chewing insect that's in vegetables. Diatomaceous earth, which is another, uh, a lot of people consider this more of an organic type of treatment. Um, it is a dust and so it doesn't need to be reapplied uh, every time you water or if it rains. In Denver, I'm Danielle Kreuter, Denver 7. Now, if you don't want to use any pesticides or products, you can get them off your plants by hand, but the expert we spoke to says you'll definitely want to wear heavy duty gloves in order to protect your skin.